In this class, we are going to learn about for loops or for action in Oracle integration. Before going straight away into the hands-on, let's see what are for loops in any programming language or any low-code development tool like Oracle integration. Here is the sample payload. Suppose if I want to iterate over an array that is elements within the array and do some activities like in this case, in this JSON array, whatever you see here, there are four items within this array. One, two, three and fourth one. Suppose if your requirement is to query to this array and pull the elements within this array one by one and send the email notification. Suppose in this case, we have to query to the array and send as many email notification as we have items in this array. Currently in this array, we are having four items. Then we are expecting four emails to be sent for our users or the customer as per the data available in this array items. So this is just a demo use case but in actual you might have a complex requirement wherein you have to do some actions or activities with the help of for loop by iterating over the array elements and achieve business requirement. Now with this context we are going to demonstrate with today's class how to work with for loops in Oracle integration. Without wasting much time let's switch over to integration instance. I am here in the Oracle integration instance. Let me create one fresh integration for this use case. Click on this create. Select app driven integration and click on select button. Let me name this as learn for loop integration. Click on create. Integration designer canvas has opened us for us. Now first of all we need to drag and drop here the rest connection or we can just query for the sample rest endpoint this comes out of the box when we configure or provision oracle integration cloud instance let me select this here let me name this as trigger connection click on next what does this endpoint do this will send emails to our customer done Endpoint, I will name this as send email with the slash. Sorry, it's written on this email. Let me write it as send email. Now, what does the HTTP method or the action does this endpoint perform? I will select post as we have to send this request in the body. At runtime also, you might get this array. For this use case, I am assuming this array we are getting from the trigger endpoint. Here, this API will be having the request as well as the response. Check mark this and click on next. From here, the sample JSON we will paste it over here from the notepad, what we created. Just copy this from here and paste it here. Click on OK. Click on next. In the response, it is asking the JSON sample. Let me select the JSON sample. Go to inline. Here, let me just put one status. This is just a dummy. But in actual use case, you have to build a actual response. Like suppose if one of the email notification got failure, then you have to update like for so and so person email notification was not sent due to so and so reasons. And for those who it was successful, you have to mention it was successful. This I am considering a generic use case. Clicking on next. Click on done. Click on save. It is always a good practice to save your integrations at regular intervals suppose if you lose the connection or your internet connectivity goes out then you won't save the changes it will be persisting in the integration instance so once you have saved the integration we, next thing we need to drop over here is the notification action so before notification our job is to iterate over the request and then send a notification so first of all i will drop this for each loop over here drag and drop it within the flow we will name this as for loop send email next it will ask what are the repeating elements this is the request wrapper what we have over here if you closely observe the sign what it has put over here the angle brackets right and left so this signifies it is a repeating element if you hover over the icon you will get the message like it is a repeating element now we need to just select this and drop it over here in the repeating element so that it will put the x path now here i will name this as current email because in every iteration, whatever the value like email subject body it holds, it will be holding within this variable, current email variable, it will create at runtime. Once done, click on create. 
Done. Next thing is we need to drop the notification action within this for loop. Drop it over here. Let me name this as send email. Click on create. From I will put here email address what we get in the current email. That is this is the variable which it has created current email at runtime. I, have, I will put this email. Just toggle it over here. Click on validate close. Into also I will put the same address. So whatever you put in the form, it won't be considered. Rather, whatever you have configured at the administration level, that only it will send as a from address. So for two, whatever you populate, it will send to that particular email address. In the subject, I will map whatever subject we get from the current element or the node. Just select this and toggle it over here. Then click on validate, close. And for body, I will make this as body variable. Let me put here as v body. Done. We have to create a parameter over here as we have defined the parameter. Copy this from here. Click on plus. So it will create a row over here under parameter name. Paste it over here. We'll go to parameter values. Scroll down. Email variable. And there should be a body within this current email variable just toggle it over here click on validate close if you want you can validate this notification action once you get the message it is valid and ready to use click on close so in the response just for the sake of completion we will mark the status as success expand the response wrapper We need to create a target node for status, enable the developer mode and I will write here as success. Done. Click on validate and close. Click on apply. Now we need to activate this integration and run. At runtime, what it will do is it will loop over the elements in this array one by one and send the email notification. In our case, the email address is same, but the subject varies for each email. Let's check at runtime. Now there is an error. We need to resolve this and activate. So this is for the tracking variable. Go to tracking. And we need to put the variable over here. Let me put over here. The email addresses of the customer. Click on save. Click on save integration. Close the integration. Now I will activate this integration. Click on activate with payload enabled. Our integration got activated successfully. Now let me test this integration. Switch over to the body. Here the sample whatever we have provided while configuring the trigger connection. It is popular. If you want to change, you can change it over here. I will keep default and click on test. Let me seek the response. It is saying as success. Now, if you see, it had four iterations because we had four items within the array. One, two, three, four. And if you expand, if you see, it has called the notification four times. That is notification sent within the first iteration of the loop. Iteration two, also notification three and four. In our next class, we will see the similar requirement, but with the help of while loop. That is, with the help of condition checks, it will validate whether the loop has ended or not. For loops will be used basically in order to iterate over the array elements or the items whereas in case while loop is used in order to execute the set of instructions or the actions within the flow n number of times and this n will be decided by the condition which is checked while the entry of the while loop. In detail we will look in our next class. Now let us validate from our gmail account mailbox whether we have got all the notifications or not. So this is the first email which we got from integration. Here, if you see the subject is, this is a test subject one. This is the sample test email which we got from the integration. The, here we get the subject and this is the body. This is the third email which we received from integration. And this is the fourth email which we got from integration. So like this, we can make use of for loops in integration and iterate over the array items and execute the set of actions or the instructions within our integration flow.